Well, you have been responding to our call for questions in recent weeks, so we're going to try to get to as many of your questions as we can in short order. <clears throat> Laura Bennett from Westport asks, why is there a particular kind of rock in Massachusetts known as pudding stone? Well, pudding stone is a type of sedimentary rock known as a conglomerate which means there's a bunch of different gravel-sized kind of stones in there which are stuck together with sediment. It's like a mishmash. Now, when European settlers first came here, they saw this rock and it reminded them of their favorite dessert from home, fruit pudding. Now, of course, English pudding is different than American pudding. If you've ever seen the Great British Baking Show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And the fact that a lot of British desserts kind of look like rocks. Local tip. If you want to see a really weird poem about Pudding Stone, head to Fitzgerald Park in Mission Hill in Boston. Alice Fastov from Dedham, Massachusetts wants to know, what is the difference between spider webs and cobwebs? Well, there are some spiders, like say a black widow, that make these dimensional irregular webs, and those are known as cobwebs. But in general, a cobweb simply refers to a spider web that has been abandoned. Now that cob in cobweb comes from an old Middle English word, cop, which just means spider. Susan from Boston asks, why do wheels on cars in TV commercials seem to be spinning backwards? Well, Susan, what's happening with the camera is it's actually taking just a bunch of pictures and then your brain is assembling those pictures to say, I see motion. Now, when the speed is just right, here's what's going on. You got a car wheel. Let's say there's a spot you're noticing on that car wheel right there at 12 o'clock. The next picture in the camera, that spot is maybe at 11 o'clock. The next picture in the camera, that spot is maybe at 10 o'clock. So what your brain is interpreting is that the wheel is actually moving backwards. Incidentally, the same thing can happen just in person. Your eye and your brain kind of work the same way as the camera, not exactly, but if the speed is right, you'll notice it right there in front of you. Well, that's all we have time for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and perhaps most importantly, let me know what you are curious about, because hey, I might just look into it for you. I'm Edgar B. Herwick III. Stay curious out there. The Curiosity Desk is sponsored by Emerson College, inspiring curiosity and creative expression in all of us.